Hello, we're at Shinerfoot Studios in Scotland and I'm Margaret and this is Anna and we're going to show you how to do figures, animals and portraits in pastel. Not in a detailed sense but in a sketchy sense which will maybe encourage you to add a few bits of life into your paintings. I hope the animals behave so let's go and give it a try. Right, we'll have a try at the cat because she's settled for the moment. Might not stay like that, but if we get the basic shape to start, always go for the overall shape just in case she moves, which is very, very likely. And the head's over here, length of body tends to be the head that moves around more, so if we just quickly sketch in the shape I'm just blocking in suggestion of colour I'll block in the white areas too while we're at it that head's gradually turning back round, so we're building it up bit by bit there's the shape Keep the eyes closed, nose coming down, don't really see too much detail of her face so with a bit of luck we might actually get away with very little, We've got our back paw there. Now I've had to change the head completely, um, the cat's looking in the opposite direction at the moment and this often happens, this is the difference between just copying a photograph and catching life and you have to go through some very frustrating uh, stages where it doesn't look anything like a cat um, but eventually the, the build up of colour is starting to work now and the quality of the pastels beginning to be useful because I can smudge it around and just keep moving it around until I get a beginning of the the profile. It's got to be changed again. Every now and again I say, ps, 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 ps. that's it, you see, and the cat looks up at me and looks away again. And just keeping it very, very loose and suggested. In fact, I've used the um, background where all the other rubbing out Came. Instead of rubbing it, I've used it for light and shade around, just to give me a little bit more tonal value. <clears throat> so that's as far as I'll take this one. Um, you could obviously take it much further. It's just a sketch so that we can uh, get the feel of doing animals from life. And just get the basic shape. That's the oval again, but I'm swinging the chin slightly to the side this time and giving myself a hint where the hairline is going to be because her shoulders slightly higher and I'm using my darker indigo just to give us the, the pupil and the position which is the darkest part so that's just giving us a reasonable impression of Melissa so I think we'll leave it at that. <laughs>